Hi guys, welcome back. Um, in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to crop and straighten a photo within Photoshop. Um, the crop tool we use for every single photo that we take, um, I have my photographers crop the photos um, generally, unless we are specifically trying to create a, like a Facebook cover photo um, or we purposely are making something a little more panoramic. Um, but other than that, we always crop our photos um, to the ratio of 11 to 15. The reason we do that is um, we found that that ratio is the most compatible with printing. So what I mean is if you want to print a photo um, that is, let's say, an 8 by 10, um, with that photo being cropped 11 by 15, that is the least likely to cut off a lot of the picture. So you can print 4 by 6, 5 by 7, 8 by 10, 11 by 14, 16 by 20, using the photo that we would give our clients that's cropped 11 to 15, and it's going to be the most compatible. So it's going to trim off the least amount of the picture um, if you want to print it to any of those sizes. So in order to crop the picture to that specific size, um, if you select the crop tool over here, it's the fifth one down, um, it's going to bring up this bounding box around here. You can type in the ratio that you want here. Um, there are a few standard ratios in the box here to the left um, where you can select. So if you wanted a perfect square, you can see it brings up the square. Um, if you wanted you know, five by seven, you know for sure you want to print this as a five by seven, nothing else, you can crop it. I would suggest before you crop your picture um, to a set size that you always save a file um, just kind of as the original. Um, but like I said, we're going to do 11 by 15. Um, you can see, obviously, we've already cropped this 11 by 15. Um, if you wanted to do it, um, if I didn't want it to be a vertical crop, if I wanted it horizontal, I can just switch this to toggle the other way. Um, so for instance, if I want to crop her this way, um, another thing I can do is I can move her before I crop to get her in the position. I can rotate her like this. It's going to, you can see it's going to show me um, what happens when I rotate it, how much of the picture is going to stay in there. So if I wanted her perfectly straight in here, um, I have it right now uh, set to, to bring up the grid over it. This divides your picture into the rule of thirds. Um, it divides it into to thirds, which is following the rule of thirds. Um, I'm going to link a video here um, to explain what the rule of thirds is in composing your photos and cropping. Um, but I always personally like my pictures, my subjects to be off center. I don't like them centered. Every once in a while I do, um, depending on what the photo is, if it's a extremely close up um, of their face then I like them more centered. Um, otherwise, I tend to like them to be off center or somewhat like this original picture here, kind of at an angle. So let me move her back here and just give you an idea. So let's say I wanted to, ignoring the logo here, let's just looking at Olivia, let's say we want to kind of straighten her up. And the way I'm doing this is I'm using the lines, the grid that comes up here. And like I said, you can add the grid, rule of thirds, diagonal, whichever um, guide you want to include. Um, I want to use her shoulders and kind of her belt down here as the guide to straighten her out. I'm not worried about her head because it's kind of tilted. So if I was just looking at her, and let's say I wanted to, if I want to keep her whole um, the whole background area in the picture, I need to make sure I scoot it over. Otherwise, if I offset her, I have to fill in this area um, using the content aware tool or maybe the clone stamp tool, which again is a whole other tutorial. Um, but I think that's pretty good for straightening, straightening her out. So once you get it where you want, you just hit enter on your keyboard. Um, and I've got her 
straightened out. Her head's just kind of tilted a little bit. Um, and again, then I would fill in this area with the content aware tool. Um, the other thing, let me undo this, is um, if I want to straighten a picture or if I want to rotate it, you can do that by going into image, image rotation. I can just completely flip her 180 degrees. Obviously that doesn't make sense for this picture. Um, you can do 90 degrees, you can flip it. Let me go back to um, normal there. You can also flip her horizontally, so she's the opposite like that. Again, most of the time it's not gonna make sense, and especially if you know the client, so this is my daughter, it looks weird to flip her that way. You know, no one's face is perfectly symmetrical, so when you reverse the image, it's gonna look a little bit off. Um, so keep that in mind. You might think that a photo looks better reversed for some reason, um, and it might look okay to you, but I guarantee to the client who's getting that picture, they're gonna think that it looks messed up. Their face is gonna look off to them. It's kind of like when um, you look at a person and if you're standing by someone and you look in the mirror and you look at that person's face in the mirror, it might look different to you. It's because you're seeing the reverse image of it. So keep that in mind. Um, so that covers cropping and straightening. Um, if you don't want to crop to a specific ratio, let me get her back to, she's to normal. Um, so if you just want to crop the photo um, with no ratio set, just hit clear and you can just drag out the box however you want it to be. Um, so if I wanted to bring this in a little bit, you know, something like this. However, and remember you can just hover out here and rotate it. A little arrow comes up and hit enter. Okay, so two ways to crop it. You can crop to a specific size or you can just freeform crop and you can rotate the image as well. So hopefully that helps you out with cropping your photos. Don't forget about the ratio of 11 to 15. If you're planning on delivering photos to clients, I highly recommend using that ratio. Um, I would never deliver a set of photos that are all cropped completely different. Um, in my opinion, it looks very unprofessional. And like I said, they're gonna go and try to print a picture and they're probably gonna be very unhappy if it cuts off you know, two thirds of the photo, a third of the photo because you have cropped it to some weird ratio. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you check in um, to our next tutorial, which is using the transform tool. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.